Today, I'm gonna be preparing a fall feast. Happy fall, you guys. Happy October. Happy Vlogtober. We're having a mega recipe video today. Um, it's a special occasion here, so just very excited about that. And so I'm preparing like a big, big like dinner, just like food array for the day because definitely it's gonna it's gonna be a lot of food so it's gonna be multiple meals so kind of like epic meal with epic leftovers but if you haven't already please go ahead and hit that subscribe button my name is king inc um i just post a lot of recipe videos uh following my curiosity just following whatever gets me interested and gets me doing something new for the day because i like trying new shit and if it doesn't work out it doesn't work out and i figure it out and also i'm trying to make this bread so anyways we're gonna go ahead straight into this and I'm gonna be preparing salmon for some raw sashimi delicious shit using the uh, the sushi guys recipe for preparing the raw salmon from like, from like frozen salmon. We're gonna do that. I'm used to eating raw fish, so I have a, a little boost in my immune system with that. So hopefully all goes well, it's frozen, very nice and yeah. Uh, I'm also gonna be using, I'm gonna be making a pork roast, as well as some tostadas, and as well as a big pot of beans. I'm trying to reattempt trying to make a big pot of beans because I, I grew up having them a lot, and all of a sudden I just like haven't had them, so I'm gonna try that too. And we'll see if I do some other sides, so let's get right to it. Roast right here, two pork roasts right here. I'm hoping to put them in the crock pot. And then here is my salmon pick for the day, farmed Atlantic salmon. This is the same as the one that the sushi guy recommended from Costco. It's frozen. It's gonna be similar. It's just like not the one from Costco. So the quality, um, that's, that's uh, dependent, but I'm gonna follow the instructions. So I'm gonna check the frozen bait. I'm gonna check how it's looking, and then I'm gonna make a salt brine. Okay, I washed up the little crock pot because I'm gonna be cooking up one of the roasts. Here is the raw salmon. This is the tiny crock pot. I know we have a bigger one, but I didn't want to use it right now. I think I'm gonna um, really definitely trying to stretch out some of the food, so I'm just gonna cook up one of the roasts. One of the roasts, I'm gonna leave it to marinate, so I'll cook it after the first one's cooked. Alrighty, I got my big bag of filtered, really, really cold water. Now I'm gonna add a bunch of salt so we can make this brine, and then I'm gonna leave the salmon in there for 30 minutes in the fridge so that it's all ready. Right here, put it on in. Gonna go ahead and grab ourselves a piece of salmon. Go ahead and try this soon with the bigger pack. Alrighty, we got the salmon in here. It's gonna chill in the brine for 30 minutes in the fridge in this nice, nice cold water. And then I'm gonna be preparing the roast. You got the little crock pot set up right here, just putting it on high. Taking out this nice big roast here on the side. And garlic powder. Cayenne. Fresh ground black pepper. Cilantro. Chicken bouillon. Little scoop. Cumin. Trader Joe's umami seasoning. Chili flakes. Peruvian seasoning. Some cilantro lime. Fix it in a drizzle of chosen avocado oil so that I can mix the seasonings in. This is gonna be our finished product. Basically, leave this to cook. I'm getting some water here ready so that I can go ahead, separate these beans, make sure to sort out any like little pebbles or anything, and put the beans to soak for a very long time so that they're faster to cook. All the bad beans I separated, and then these are gonna be the beans that are done, and they're gonna be. We got the beans soaking, we got the roast roasting, and then we got the salmon brine. I'm gonna finally use my little orange picnic mason jar cup. So cute. I got this little orange Shiba Inu keychain from a gift from a friend on my birthday, and then this TikTok keychain from VidCon. So I'm gonna go ahead and make some Ovaltine, which is the chocolate milk powder that I use, just cause, I mean, it's affordable, and also, 
it's good. It's good for me, so why not? And I don't have milk, but I have half and half, so I'm gonna put half and half in my cup, plus water, and then a bunch of Ovaltine. Time to add some cream. And go with the Ovaltine. I love how fast it dissolves, because I always hate it when chocolate milk clumps, and this just like sinks into the milk and actually dissolves, so it's a lot easier to mix. This is truly the fall vibe. Also, I got sunflowers. Look at how cute, I love, I love the orange plaid. I've taken my salmon out. Currently it feels pretty firm, but the sushi guy on TikTok said 30 minutes in the fridge from frozen. So I'll see how it is. And if anything, I am allowed to keep it in the fridge for five hours to let it firm up. So that should also help it defrost a little. He said to do a little smell test, so. Thankfully, it smells really nice, really fresh. I'm gonna take the skin off of it and basically let it rest a little bit, firm it up a little, but it's good. He did definitely say that the color is not gonna be as vibrant as some of the higher quality stuff, but that the quality to actually eat it is gonna be pretty good. Okay, I got the salmon all separated from the skin. I will be keeping the skin for a nice, delicious dumpling soup that I'm gonna be making later. So I'm gonna freeze that little portion and I'm gonna go ahead and start slicing this up. We go this is gonna be it for our little pile of salmon looks good so far definitely is not the brightest salmon the colors right there are just because that was the area close to the skin otherwise it looks good smells good i'm gonna dip it in some soy sauce and go ahead and try this all right you guys cheers We're so fucking on. We're so fucking on, bro. Oh, I got the fucking... Why is my hair doing the Karen shit? Stop! Oh my gosh, you guys. This is delicious. No weird aftertaste. Just straight up buttery, incredible salmonness. Definitely, I'm feeling a little crunch from some ice, but this is so good. We are the freaking champions today. The sushi. Credit to the sushi guy on TikTok. Thank you so much for teaching us how to whip up some delicious salmon on a budget. Alrighty, it is the next morning and the house smells incredible. We're gonna go ahead and check out how our little pork roast is cooking up. Ooh, it's been cooking for definitely, let's say, like a good 10, 12 hours. That smells so freaking good. I'm gonna go check how the texture is. Obviously not crispy, because it's a slow cooker, but oh my gosh. I did not add any extra oil to this, so this is all just gonna be the pork fat. And oh my gosh. Did you see that? Oh, no way, look at, oh my gosh. That just completely falls apart oh my god sorry sorry wow look at that wow and try this little bit right here that's so delicious it's spicy watch out with the cayenne because definitely roasting it gets that flavor real spicy. I'm going to go ahead and try to flip this so I can get all the seasoning from the top there in the bottom so it's all even. Over and as you can see, it definitely fell apart. It's very delicate. I'm going to go ahead and turn the slow cooker off and put this away. This morning, our pot of beans has definitely hella grown. Some have bursted. That's how you know that they're doing good. You guys, so here I am with the beans. They are basically done cooking up i'm gonna go ahead and add the salt factor which is gonna be some chicken bouillon mix that in i'm gonna mash it up so it's nice and smooth this to taste and i'm gonna go ahead with this bean masher and start mashing this up 
Oh, we got kind of a good mash going, nice and salted. I'm gonna get this off the burner and get some tostadas made. The complete setup, we got cheddar jack cheese, shredded fresh cheddar cheese, lettuce, cilantro, onions, green onions. We got some crema. I have my plate right here, so I got three tostadas, added it all up. We got the carnitas, I got some chile. This is a little cup of beans that I got with some fresh limes here on the side. And here I'm cooking up some flour tortillas. These are corn tortillas that I have here and then a fresh pot of beans. All right, you guys, time for me to enjoy a freaking tostada right now. Cause, oh my gosh, I've been cooking for hours. The meat was basically started yesterday and I'm gonna try to eat this. Oh my gosh. It's definitely hard to do this with one hand. Ooh, cheers, you guys. Mm. That's delicious. Oh my gosh. Hard work pays off, you guys. Vegetables are fresh. I forgot to chop the tomatoes, so I'll do that later. The carnitas has such good flavor. I'm so happy. Cause I slow roasted that shit for like a day. It's so good. Mm. That's gonna be it for today, you guys. Thank you so much, you guys, for watching my video. Making this whole little fall feast here. Very excited. I'm gonna be watching the Book of Life now and eating this. So if you haven't already, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Make sure to follow me on all my social media down below. <coughs> me when I choke. Um, let me know what you guys want me to make next or any suggestions, what you like about my videos, what you don't like. And yeah, hope you guys are having a happy fall, happy vlogtober, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye!